All right, we're going to be talking cyanotic defects here with the pediatric patients here. So cyanotic heart defects are a group of congenital heart defects that result from deoxygenated blood that bypasses the lungs and going into the systemic circulation. So it's the four T's. So let's go over the four T's. Tetralogy of phallet, truncus arteriosus, transposition of the great vessels, and tricuspid atresia. So let's go through those a little bit closer. Tetralogy of phallet is the four anatomical abnormalities that I'm going to describe here an overriding aorta, pulmonic stenosis, ventricular septal defect, and right ventricular hypertrophy. So those things come make up the tetralogy of phallet. So that's the first one. Um, the second one is the trunk, truncus arteriosus, which is a condition where the pulmonary trunk and aorta do not properly divide, and it results in one large vessel carrying mixed blood to the heart, lungs, and systemic circulation. So tetralogy of phallet, truncus arteriosus, the third one is transportation of the great vessels, where your vessels are swapped or potentially in abnormal position. So tetralogy of phallet, truncus arteriosus, transportation of the great vessels. And then the fourth one, tricuspid atresia, is a condition where there's no tricuspid valve, which leads to an undersized or even an absent right ventricles. So the four T's again, guys, tetralogy of phallet, truncus arteriosus, transposition of the great vessels, and finally, tricuspid atresia. This has been another episode of the Nursing Mnemonics Podcast by NRSNG.com with your host, Katie Kleber, RN, CCRN. To grab all of our nursing cheat sheets, head over to NRSNG.com slash freebies. That's NRSNG.com slash freebies. Thank you so much for being here today. We love you guys. We thank you so much. We want to see you guys succeed. Listen, we're all in this together. Now go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing.